What's up guys, welcome back. Gun and Kiowa from Hunter Hunter or Hunter X Hunter. I, I call it Hunter Hunter. I think that's the way you're supposed to say it. So are they ever going to bring it back? That's the question. Um, I would love to see it finished. Um, anyway, landscape page, pencil and eraser. I miss Hunter Hunter. Hit pause if I go too fast, right? So there are two three quarter poses. Okay, so kind of tricky. They're not like looking forward. Where to begin? All right, let's start with gone over this side. So I'm kind of along that middle point, right? And gone this side, kill it here. So we'll go with his top eyelid on this side first, just to get us started. So just somewhere about here. Curve. Around like this. And that's all that's kind of drawn in for his um, eye lines. The rest is like just eye and highlights and pupils and things. So his eye, he's kind of looking down. He's trying, he's doing his bow, right? So we're just going to start here, curve around. And I'm going to draw in the highlight, right? So I won't finish this. I'm not going to close it up, right? I'm going to just add a highlight in here because that's what's in the picture so so you just leave a little bit of a gap there okay and then his pupil comes down around and up and it's one of these animes where like not always but in this picture the pupil joins the shadow in the top of the eye, right? So this is just like colored black. So it's just a different style of doing an anime eye. Um, and then his eyebrows here, so real pointy kind of eyebrow up and down. A little bit thicker in the middle. All right. So we, as I said, we're in three quarter pose. That means like the head is turned away. So whenever you see me, if I sometimes I title my videos like three quarter portrait or something, that means you can only see three quarters of his face. So the other side of this face is like turned away from us. It's disappeared. All right. So you can only see three quarters. So that means you have one eye smaller than the other as well. So we're kind of down here. And like distance wise, it's probably like, it's not a full eye, right? So it's about here, right? So the width of this eye, you wouldn't really fit that in there. It's probably like three quarters of his eye fits in there because the eyes are really big in, in Hunter Hunter as well. So roughly about here is where we want to start. And then we will go up. And down. So we're doing kind of the same thing here, except skinnier. Right? And we're on this diagonal because he's looking down. So again, all that's drawn in for the eye, right, is this kind of oval. Much skinnier now and smaller than the other side. Well, About that much, right? Smaller eye. And we're going to leave a highlight out here. Right again. And then his pupil drawn in here. This takes a bit of practice now. And then you just color the top dark. All right, so you can see now his the direction, the direction of his gaze. So he's he's looking down to the right, 
like that. So his other eyebrow, then it's just up here, like again, just kind of a arch like this, shorter like that. And then his, his nose, real small here, just like a little point like that. And his mouth is tiny. It's amazing how simply they can do a face. I always think in animation, it's pretty spectacular. So we're in three quarter, right? So that means you can see just his chin, which comes down here. And this will go up for his jaw on this side. Like that. So because his head is turned, we've got a different type of line on this side of his face, right? It goes out for his cheek, right? It goes out like that, a little bit different. And then it curves around that cheek, comes up towards his eye. So we go real slow now, take your time. And then this will come out towards his eyebrow, curve out again. So you've got this sort of S sort of thing going on here. And then this will go around towards the top of his head. Okay. So a little bit tricky now. To get that, maybe pause. So his ear joins his jaw. Big enough kind of ear. No fence gone. Ear lobe comes around there. And then ear lines inside. So then his hair, so Gon just has this big spiky kind of hairline. So we've got a spike there, spiking all around his head, spiking across the back of his head here. And then we go down. Towards his ear. And then of course he has those big characteristic hair spikes that come out back here. All the way, all the way around. And they're kind of smaller behind his head and they get a bit bigger as we go. Pretty big one here now. And then smaller one. Bigger one. So there. And then this will join his head just down here. And he has um, a green section just around these. So you just go around each sort of hair spike again. And they're all black inside there. And then we have his neck just here, hair spike coming down there. So we've got a bit of a difficult pose with his hands, right? So he's got he's holding his bow tie, right? So we've got like a finger here. Comes down like that. And then comes down the other side. 
just like his index finger, okay? Right? And then we have a knuckle here, bump, another one, bump there, and then his little finger is kind of sticking up here and curves down there. Side of his hand then comes out the back, down around here somewhere. And you can see a little bit of his thumb just here. Comes out to a knuckle. And then down to there. And then we have a white sleeve. Comes down here. And then black sleeve just here. So his hand bumps down, or his arm bumps down this way. And then we have his collar and his shoulder on this side. So collar, white collar here, like that. And then this curves down that way. And then his shoulder is down here and around. It kind of bumps it out towards his elbow. And then we have like some arm lines there. So his other hand then on the other side, so we have an index finger again, kind of sticking up more pointy here. And it kind of comes around like this. And then we have another finger below it, bent over with a knuckle there. And then the back of his hand will go down, kind of bumping like this. Then the next finger comes out and down to there. And then the next one comes out, down, round. And a shadow in there, and then the palm of his hand comes out like so. And then another line for the edge of his hand just here. And then a sleeve comes out this way, down to there, and down to there, then around like so. And then his black sleeve comes down like this, like so. No, that's wrong. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Right, so then he's holding his bow tie just in his hand here, right? So it kind of comes down here and there's like a middle bump for it there. And then it comes across into this finger there. You might see some of his thumb there. And then the other fixing his bow tie. And then some lines for his shirt just back here. And then down the middle, lines for his shirt again. this all 
Right, so Kilwa, same thing, right? So three quarter pose over here, different stylized, but similar process, right? So we go curve it over around and he's like a little spike on the corner of his eye. And then this goes down to there. So this is just like a black little spike here on the corner. Like that. And he has a bottom eyelid drawn in. There. And then his eye, same sort of thing, right? So we're going to leave a gap. So we're going to go around here. And up and this is going to be your highlight on his eye there and then the black section for his pupil so curves around down to there then up down to there and you're just going to color this black So, what can we see? We can see a little eyelid line just here. And an eyebrow on the cross like that. Maybe a little bit thick at the front. Come back that way. He's looking at us, obviously, so that's where the eye is on. The pupil is on this side of his eye. And then the other eye, so we go up and around. Take it slow. So this eye is small again, right? It does have a little spike in the corner and then goes down a little bit here. Oh, much smaller than this one now, about half the size. And then we can see his bottom eyelid sort of here. And then his iris here curves around and I forgot to leave the gap for the pupil right so for the highlight so I'm just going to draw this in here and then erase that different way of doing it similar results so I'm just going to erase that now Like so, and then the black section for his eye, right? So again, curves around. Here and down. And then color it in dark. Like so, and his nose just kind of touching his eye kind of here, right? So it kind of like comes down around like that and then down to here, real pointy. And his mouth, he's got a bigger smile on his mouth. So and it's kind of one of those double things. So just underneath the nose, we'll do the first step. So we go. that right and then we're going to leave a gap and go this way so how much of a gap is kind of up to you really we just go like so and his chin just down here pointy and goes around 
for his jaw. Nice. Because we're in three quarter, we can only see the jaw on this side. And I think he has like a shadow underneath his chin kind of a thing here. Same as Don on this side, we gotta do his cheek, right? So it kind of sticks out. Nice, and then hooks around here. And then goes up towards his eye. And then goes out to there. So it looks like he's got like, he's chewing on something. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> so we forgot the eyelid lines and eyebrow and stuff here. So like eyebrow goes that way. And it's kind of thicker at the bottom. And then an eyelid line here. So he's got big like fringe that comes down over his eyes, right? And it starts with kind of sideburns here at the side. So it goes spiking like this. And then we have a spike that comes down this way. And then we just add more spikes coming down over his eyebrows and a little bit over his eyes. And we can see a couple of spikes just coming down over his ears here. Over his ear here, should I say. And then his ear actually sticks out here. And we can put some ear lines inside. And the rest of his hair. So comes out from behind his neck which is here and then we have hair spikes All this spiky hair just coming around his head. Now remember, hair moves. If yours isn't exactly like mine, don't worry too much about it because it, it, the hair is never the same, like all the way, like from scene to scene in an anime. It kind of moves and it blows in the wind and all that kind of stuff. And then he has some hair spikes here as well. Okay, and then it's Tux, so there's no hands on Kiwa, which makes it much easier than Don. So his shirt collar just comes across his, underneath his chin. Back to there, down. And then his collar this way, just comes down here. Kind of bumps down the back. Out for his shoulder, down here, 
bumping a little bit like so and then the other side of this collar here it's got a little triangle part here screws down into there and then the inside of his arm this side some folds come across and his body goes that way There's another fold line there top of his shoulder his bow tie and the rest of his shirt so bow tie here center of it pretty simple like that then the shirt there and then the other side of the shirt maybe we can see a little bit of his neck on the other side just there and then his body on this side down and there and then the center line for his shirt just coming down like so and that's it that's how to draw a gun and kiwa in tuxedos hope it was helpful thanks for watching see you in the next one bye